Hey YouTube, we all Juggle Knives here with the Boker Titan Drop Point Decade Edition. Alright, this is like the Boker Titan Drop, but instead of titanium, you've got the carbon fiber. And uh, there were 600 of these made, right, to celebrate the 10th anniversary Boker Plus line. Yes, it's a lock back. Very thin, very slim. This only weighs 2.6 ounces. However, it has a blade length of 3.625 inches. All right, so it's really a, it's an incredibly lightweight knife for the blade it gives you. Polished pocket clip, one position pocket clip. All right, the opening, dual thumb studs. And the opening is a lot smoother uh, than the titanium version. Okay, let me give you a good close-up of the blade itself. Nice. Now you see it actually looks like a full flat grind, although Blade HQ lists this as a a full hollow. Okay, so I don't know. You can you can be the judge yourself, but it looks pretty awesome. Uh, it's very thin which I like for this type of knife because it'll slice right through a very nice satin finish right and it's a very uniform finish they've really done this well this knife was about sixty five dollars I think I got a good deal on that and about that VG10 steel you know I didn't like it that much on the uh, the last Spyderco I reviewed but that was a two hundred dollar knife for around $65, I love VG10 for that price. I think that's perfect. I actually think I got a little more than my money's worth at that price. So yes, very cool. Drop point, as you can see, came very sharp. You know, Boker has been getting better with their edges, at least this and the last knife uh, I reviewed by them have come extremely sharp. Let me try to do it real slow. Yeah, very, uh, they've done very well with the initial sharpness on this. It does not need touching up. Those handle scales look pretty awesome too. Now there's no liners in here. Yeah, I know some people are going to be like, oh man, I can't jam this in the side of a cliff and lift my whole body weight with it. Um, yeah, sorry, you, you can't like climb a mountain with this as like something to step on. But it makes it incredibly slim and light. And here's a comparison with the titanium version of this knife. Oh, you see the little uh, lockback part there. It has an indent on that, whereas this has no indent. All right, but this is a very cool knife in itself. All right, it's, a, it's a bit heavier than the carbon fiber version, but still light and just as slim. And this has a two position pocket clip, whereas the carbon fiber just has a one position. But And this is even, uh, I believe this is around 40. Yeah, very, very affordable. I actually recommend both of these but I'm really glad they came out with this that's very cool uh, this is already sold out of Blade HQ I just checked just this morning so I, I guess a lot of people had the same idea that I did which was that this is a really nice knife for the price and another useful comparison this time with a Spyderco Endura and as you can see these are basically in the, the same size category all right, so this is, you know, if you're comfortable carrying an Endura, you'd probably be very comfortable carrying this uh, Titan. Okay, and just one last look at the fit and finish. Nice job, nice job. And as I've said before, even though I've had a few, I've been burnt a few times by Boker, when they do something right, I will give them full credit, and I'm definitely happy with this you know the price is right that's a great steal for that price it's so slim and light but it gives you a lot of edge length to work with and I love the very um, 
just how thin it is. It's going to slice through things uh, just like, uh, like a lot of kitchen knives would. Also, that's going to be very easy, very easy to resharpen. And the initial sharpness was very high. And as I said, very smooth, easy opening, right? Even easier than the titanium version. The thumb studs are a little short, right? But that doesn't seem to make a difference, right? So good job on the smoothness of the pivot. It has no blade play, right? So good job on the lockup. Yeah, for all those reasons, I'm actually very happy uh, with this blade. Okay, you too. Well, this has been We All Juggle Knives. Hope you enjoyed seeing this. If you can find one of these anywhere, I definitely recommend picking one up. Alright, stay tuned for many more videos. I'm out.